Green Access Solutions. Hi, I'm Glenn of Green Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. In this episode of Green Access Solution, I'm going to show you how to replace a the SSD drive, I mean the SSD disk inside this HP RP2 retail system model 2000 TPC dash W017. So we got this POS machines, I mean this this group of POS machines from a shop that has been closing down and um, we got it for a nice deal. Um, we just wanted to, okay, before that let's just show you what type of screwdriver I'm going to use to open this. This is like a, a tox or the hex type. And um, you can also use a flat screw to open the back. So it's kind of the screw type is kind of a dual um, type, so to make it easier for us to to open it. As you can see from here, I'm trying to remove the base from the back cover, but it is not necessary to remove. If you wish to remove the whole cover with the ba the base, it's also fine. But for the sake of this um, video, I'm just going to show you the, the clear view of the back without the base. So we're removing this base. So we, yeah, going back to the topic, we actually got this for, I mean, seven of these from the closing shop and the price is good for second hand. And we're, we're gonna replace all our old IBM POS machines. You know, they're like 16 years old by now. And I'm surprised that those IBM POS are still working. Here I just removed the, the panel cover. And what I'm going to try, I mean, what I'm gonna try to do now is to unscrew the screws using the flat screw. And as you can see from here, I'm trying to remove those um, little port, port covers. So these port covers act like a, a protection for the ports from, you know, insects going in or from um, our cashiers um, trying to insert stops there like USB from the mouse or keyboard. We don't actually allow them to do that, but sometimes, I don't know, when they're curi curious, they try and plug something in there, like unplug the keyboard. If, if the post hangs, they try to solve them by themselves. So we actually don't allow that, but sometimes, I don't know, they just, they just do it. Anyway, I'm, I'm removing the screws from the back now. And while you're removing the screws, don't don't get surprised if you hear like cracking or loud noises. Those are from the pressure uh, that has built up from when you you know I mean when the screws are properly screwed in, the the back cover latch onto the to the paws, but they actually don't lock like what you see from the back covers of some regular bus. Here the the screws keep them latch on together so it requires constant force to to bring them together. That's why when we remove them or when we loosen up the screws you will hear loud noises or snapping noises. Here this is a fanless um, motherboard and that thing that I'm pointing at is the hard drive or the SSD. You can see that brown thing that is a um, cooling pad what it does is it's, it acts like a, a um, cooling material it absorbs the heat from the SSD so here to remove the SSD you just need to unlock the latch and 
when you bring it up, I mean when you bring the lock up, it automatically, the SSD automatically slides upward in an upward position and there you can remove this. And you will also need to unscrew this to remove the SSD from its enclosure. So that brown thing, you can actually remove it, unstick it and place it somewhere, then do your stops like um, plug this SSD into a dock. You cannot plug this while, okay, this SSD is around 120 something plus gigabyte. You can update it or upgrade it to 240 plus or 512, but for 1TB, I'm not sure if this motherboard supports it, but for POS function, 128 or 240 gigabyte of storage is enough. So right now I'm screwing the, I'm putting back the screws for the enclosure of the SSD. And as you can see, I'm applying a little bit of pressure to push the SSD off while I'm screwing it because you will need to align the holes of that enclosure to the hole of the SSD. Okay, to put it back, just place the SSD on top of it, but you need to up or bring the lock position up and carefully slide it down. When you actually bring the lock down, it will automatically or push itself upward, the SSD upward, I mean downward position and it will latch itself into the port. So yeah, that's it. It's so simple. That's how easy it is to replace the SSD. So why would we need to replace the SSD when, of course, when the SSD is damaged, you need to replace it. SSD has a shorter life compared to traditional disk. So <clears throat> you may find yourself frequently replacing SSD if you are operating POS machines. And also you may want to remove the SSD for cloning purposes it's easier that way than installing each POS machine with OS and um, programs for POS machines. Here I'm screwing back the cover and there are only four screws as I said it's easy to put the screws back. Just note that while you're screwing I mean tightening the screws you will hear snapping sounds that's the back cover latching back to the main OS machine. So when you're tightening or yeah, tightening the screws, never tighten it too much, as you might damage the you know the screw slots. So that's it. I'm just gonna bring back the base.
and screw it back that reattach it yeah like I said you don't need to you know remove the base when you're trying to replace the SSD or removing the back cover you can remove the back cover with the base still attached to it and it will still be the same or you can also remove the back cover if you wish to mount this POS machine to a to a, an arm Okay, so yeah, that's it. That's how easy it is to, you know, replace the SSD of the HP RP2 retail system model 2000 or the TPC-W017 POS machine.